Hey YouTube, this is going to be a tutorial on getting you Windows 7 Ultimate fully unlocked and activated for free. And uh, I'm going to show you here, this is build 7600 version 6.1, which is the exact same thing as the retail copy. So by the time you're done with this, it will be just like you went to the store and bought a copy, but uh, you'll have an extra $300 in your pocket this time, which is nice. So what we're going to need, and what you are going to need, is active ISO burner which means you need a DVD that's blank and you're gonna need a DVD drive that can burn so make sure you have those two things you're gonna need the activators which I'll show you in a bit we're gonna need a torrent program and I'll show you uTorrent if you don't already have one and you're gonna need some kind of software to uh, <coughs> to extract and most of you already have that most of you have WinRAR or JZip or 7-Zip or something like that but in case you don't I'll go ahead and show you that so this really isn't going to take you guys very long. It's some pretty simple stuff, and uh, the outcome is pretty cool. So, what we're going to do first is I'm going to pop into my browser, and I'm just going to show you uTorrent, because uh, some of you guys aren't going to have a torrent program, and I'm just going to show you. uTorrent.com, it's a free download. uTorrent is really light on your system resources, and it's a pretty nice program. Uh, the parent company is BitTorrent, so BitTorrent and uTorrent are the same thing. And, uh, you know, any torrent program will do. uTorrent is nice because it normally will automatically adapt to your firewall settings and uh, punch a port through for you so you can download at higher speed. After we have that, like I said, we're going to need active ISO. And that's just Google that. Should be your top link here. And you'll see the zip or the exe. Either one will work. And once you have those two things installed, we're going to need to download our Windows 7 ISO so that we can burn it to a disk. And uh, we're just going to look for Windows 7 here at the Pirate Bay. And sort by Cedars. And all Cedars are, Cedars are people that have the file completely downloaded. And uh, they keep it in their torrent program so that they can upload it to you. So the more Cedars, the faster you can download, which is, you know, it's nice. Um, you know, you'll see this nice page. Cute picture, good description. Uh, do take note in the description, you'll see the minimum requirements. So make sure you meet those. Um, and the other reason this is a nice torrent file is it has the x86 and x64 in the same thing. And all x86 is is it's a 32-bit, so don't be confused. x86 is 32-bit. Um, if you want to know how you can tell, uh, I mean, there's websites and programs that will tell you, but the general rule of thumb is if you have a dual-core, quad-core, i5, i7, or AMD 64 processor, you have 64-bit compatible hardware. If you're on a Pentium 4 or an older AMD processor, then you should probably stick with 32-bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is click Download this torrent. It'll open up a new torrent automatically, and what you'll see is this little box pop up. Now we're going to deselect the info and the cracks because we have our own activators and we don't need the info text. And then go ahead and choose what operating system you need in terms of what bit version you want to download. I'm on an i5, so I'm just going to deselect the 32-bit since I don't need that, and just click OK. And what you'll see is this file will pop up here, and uh, it'll still say the size is 5.3 gigabytes, but don't you're not actually downloading all of that. If you come down here in the Files tab and look, it's actually skipping a ton of stuff, so you're not going to download all those extra gigabytes that you don't need. So, I mean, that'll take a while, and once that's done, what you'll see is you'll need to extract that out and you'll probably already have software installed to do that but go ahead and just extract that to your desktop or wherever you know where it is and double click it and what it should look like is it should have the same icon as active ISO and you'll double click it and it'll open up a box just like this but the only difference will be this whole source path right here should be filled out for you you won't have to come find it and all you have to do is click burn don't mess with any of these settings, don't do anything like that. It's a one-step, really quick burn process. And uh, most burns take 20 to 30 minutes. Just let it go. Your drive will take longer or not, depending. And once that's done, all you need to do to install Windows 7, which is probably the easiest part of this whole thing, put the DVD in your computer, restart. You should see right when you restart, text will come up and say, hit any key to install from DVD or CD. Well, if that doesn't happen, go into your BIOS, which is F12, F10, something like that, and uh, choose your CD or DVD. But what you'll see is I would recommend doing a custom advanced install. 
Custom Advanced is going to completely clean your hard drive and it's going to allow you to have a fresh install of the operating system and get rid of all your old junk that you had. Um, that does mean you need to back up everything. Now you can do upgrade, but you can really only upgrade if you're on Vista. So if you're on XP, you do have to do Custom Advanced no matter what. Um, I mean, you'll see that screen. Uh, Custom Advanced, you will see this screen as well, and this is just going to make you uh, format your drive, which all that means is you're clearing everything off it and getting it ready for a whole new install of 7. So uh, just click Drive Options Advanced, and that will allow you to uh, do that. And just click Format. So once you have Windows 7 up and running, it'll be awesome, and you'll be going great. But what you need to do is activate still, because you have 30 days once your system is up and running, but you have 30 days to activate, so this is how you do that. What you'll see in my uh, computer properties here, I have my system information, which isn't actually exactly right. I'm running in a virtual machine right now. But uh, anyway, what you'll see is your system information, your computer name, all that stuff. But at the bottom, what you guys will see that you don't see here is you'll see the, uh, the time remaining to activate, which will say 29 days right after you install it. And you'll have a whole long key of numbers and all this different type of stuff. But we're not going to worry about that. So what we're going to do to activate is we're going to come back to our browser one final time. And we're going to go to the Pirate Bay again. So you guys have to re-download uTorrent, redo that stuff. And we're going to go Windows 7 Activator. Sort by Cedars. And here at the top you'll see the 2010 Blaze Activator. And just download this torrent. It's a really quick file. And once you extract it out, it'll look just like this. It'll have this little folder, New Windows 7 Activator. And you go into it, and you'll see 7 Loader, and you'll see Remove Watt. Now there's a readme to go with this, so if you get lost, you can go ahead and just you know read through this and go, oh okay. But uh, I'm just going to run through it. What you do first is you open your seven loader. And by the way, these activators take a little bit of time, so if you click something and it doesn't instantly do what you want, give it some time. Open the seven loader, you'll see this. Click select task, and what you want to do is I don't actually have an Alienware. But uh, if you come into my computer properties, you see the little Alienware badge over here. And what I did was, you can select any brand you want over here. So this time I'll choose Dell, or DFI apparently, which I don't know what that is. DFI, and what you click is, I'm not going to do it because I'm not sure if it'll mess up my activation. Don't do this twice, but you'll click non-slick option 1. That'll take 10 to 20 seconds. You'll see two windows pop up saying, you know, successfully installed this and that. After that, you click Install Information 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on what you did. And finally, you click Hazar Option 2. So it's kind of like a triangle, non-slick, install, and Hazar. After you do all three of those, reboot. It'll say reboot after you do one of these, but wait till you have all three done. Once you're rebooted, you'll see, you'll come to your computer properties, and it'll say that it's activated. But the last step is you have to come to this Remove Watt. And this is the simplest thing on Earth. All you have to do, Right now, I've already removed my watt, which is why you don't see it in computer properties. But you'll see remove watt, just like you see restore watt for me. And that'll take some time. And once it's done, it'll completely remove your Windows activation technology, which is what that stands for. And you'll be good to go. So there's your two-part activator. Really simple stuff. And uh, really concrete. You know, you'll stay activated with this. I know some of you were deactivated with that other tutorial I made. But uh, the majority of you are still going. If you're still going, I wouldn't worry about it. Just stick with the activator that you have. If you got deactivated, or for the majority of you that are just trying this out, this is it's a concrete activator. It's going to hold out for you. Um, go ahead and get Windows updates. Do whatever you want with it. It's a real copy of 7. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, all that kind of stuff, um, <clears throat> there's a couple ways to contact me. Uh, I like comments better than personal messages just because that way if you have a question it can be out there for me to answer for everyone to see and that way I don't get the same question over and over in my inbox. So please leave comments over personal messages unless it is something that you don't want to uh, have out there openly. But uh, other than that, good luck guys. It should be some pretty straightforward simple stuff. Hope it works out.